It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm here. Koya's here. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Jasmine Brand is here. I'm not just any brand. I'm my own brand. All right, and let's get into some Yeetie. Now, Irv Gotti, um, you know, we heard the news about him having a stroke, and his rep spoke with the Shade Room on Wednesday saying that Irv Gotti's doing well, okay. and he appreciates the concerns about his health. And according to his rep, he said, I'm getting older, that's all. Only thing worse than getting old is not getting old. And he also revealed that he's working on a DMX movie as well. Mm. Um, his rep also said that Irv Gotti was upset that WAC 100 revealed the private news about his health to the world. You know, he's been struggling with diabetes. Diabetes, yeah. And that caused him to have a minor stroke over six months ago, but he is making a full recovery. I wonder why Wack did that without his without him knowing. Because it's like a whole picture he posted, too. Yeah, and I want us to get better about that as a society. <laughs> like, let people release on their own what their medical condition is. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because sometimes people be wanting to just, like, reveal information, but, you know, these are real human beings. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's great for my business, but, mm -hmm. you know. All right, now, um, Vince McMahon has a docuseries also that's going to be coming to Netflix. Okay. And it's called Mr. McMahon. It debuts on September 25th. It has six one-hour episodes. Mm. And the synopsis says, Mr. McMahon chronicles the rise and fall of Vince McMahon, controversial businessman and co-founder of WWE, from his transformation of the WWE from a small regional business into a global entertainment powerhouse to the explosive sexual misconduct allegations that led to his eventual resignation. Mm. I, I want to see that. this. Yeah. No, I definitely am going to be watching this. I was just about to ask you, too. When you were little, did you watch wrestling? Yes, I did. Okay, and what about you? Mm, mm, like, not a lot. I did go to SummerSlam. Most, I had an ex that was really into wrestling. Oh, so you went? Yes, yeah, so I went to SummerSlam at the Barclays. Okay, I never I never been to an actual fight. I had an older cousin who was into it, so that's how I ended up watching it. I think you call it a sauce. match. A ma oh, match. Okay, not a fight, a match. Okay. <laughs> I think you and it you match. know they were supposed to have a Hulk Hogan uh, Netflix biopic starring Chris Hemsworth, but that's been canceled, according to Todd Phillips, who was supposed to direct it. He said, "I love what we were trying to do, but that's not going to come together for me." And so he was talking about his upcoming film uh, with Variety, Joker, and yeah. So it's it's been scrapped. They said business wise, Netflix kind of missed the date as far as a business situation. Oh, I thought it was because he made that stupid comment about Kamala. Oh, this comment right here. You want me to body slam somebody? You want me to body slam Kamala Harris? Is Kamala a chameleon? Is she Indian? Okay, I like it. I'm gonna get heat for that one, brother. Also, her name is Kamala. Yeah. Kamala. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, learn how to pronounce that first and then, you know. Seriously. But that was awful. Yeah. Like, but you're gonna body slam. And there's some really stupid people out here that might be like, I want to do it so I can go viral and right. post it on TikTok. So you got to be really careful about talking about physically body slamming a woman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, duh, right? <laughs> and Andre 3000 has released a new film to accompany his new Blue Sun album. Okay. And, um, you know, he... he premiered Listening to the Sun. He said it's an intimate film and he premiered this yesterday. It's 88 minutes and it's the same length as New Blue Sun and he's meditating in a blue room with candles. And, and we're supposed to watch that for 80 minutes? Being very zen. Okay. Here's the thing. He's just coming into a new version of himself and we get to witness it. I'm all about, you know, tapping into know your you creativity. Like, you know? Koya will sit there and watch Boring. that. I <laughs> <laughs> Should be there like, um... <laughs> All right, well, that is your Yeetie. When we come back, we have Under the Radar. These are the stories that are not necessarily in the headlines. They are flying under the radar. And you know, Kamala, okay, <laughs> just for you guys listening, has done her first interview with CNN. We'll talk about it. It's way up. <laughs> 